Hello everyone and uh, welcome to Yandere Simulator and uh, in this game I will do anything and I mean anything for my sweet baby jeans um, uh, I will do anything for Senpai Something is wrong with me For as long as I can remember, I've always felt empty, incomplete, like a part of me is missing. This hollow feeling has dominated my life. I've never been able to feel anything else. My world has always been cold, dark, silent. My mother was exactly like me when she was a child. But when she met my father, everything changed for her. He brought warmth and color and life into her world. He made her... complete. She told me that, one day, I'd meet someone special, just like she did. Someone who would cure me, fix me. Save me. I've spent my entire life waiting for that day, dreaming of the moment when I'd meet the person who would complete me. It was the only thing for me to look forward to. It was my only reason to live. And then, one day... I found him. When I met him, something changed inside of me. My world was filled with color and light. It was like I had opened my eyes for the first time. I felt warm. I felt complete. I felt alive. He is my escape from the cold, gray, empty world I've been trapped in. He is the one I've been waiting for. The person I want to spend the rest of my life with. But... Someone... Is trying to take him from me. She wants him. But not in the same way that I want him. She could never appreciate him the way I do. She doesn't deserve him. He belongs to me. I have to stop her. Even if it means hurting her. Even if it means killing her. There is nothing I won't do for him. I won't let anyone come between us. I don't care what I have to do. I don't care who I have to hurt. I don't care whose blood I have to spill. I won't let anyone take him from me. Nothing else matters. No one else matters. He will be mine. He doesn't have a choice. W intro. Oh my goodness. Can't believe I waited like 10 years for this. Pretty little senpai. How do you feel, bro? Oh no, nah, she's so love. Hey, Yanchan. <laughs> We're trying to rehearse for a play, but the lead actress isn't here. Would you mind filling in for her? <sighs> Come on, it'll be fun. It's a play about a serial killer. <laughs> okay. I'll help. 
Yay! Come with me, Yanchan. Bruh. The killer picked up the knife that was on the table. Bull. Then she went on a killing spree, murdering everyone around oh, her. Oh, that's that's kind of wild. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm she I'm lost I'm more hey, yo. and more of her sanity, oh, my goodness. and her attacks <laughs> became more brutal and savage. Oh my gosh. D D dial. When the deed was done, she burst into maniacal laughter. <laughs> the killer quickly began to destroy the evidence of her crime. She picked up one of the I corpses. Uh, yep, go. She carried the corpse to a nearby incinerator, and she dumped the corpse inside. Damn. Once all five corpses were in the incinerator, she activated it. And last corp, let's go. The corpse is oh, incinerated. Gosh. She prepared to clean up the rest of the That's evidence. Crazy. The killer started to clean up all of the blood that she had spilled. First, she grabbed a bucket. Bucket. She brought it to a sink and filled it with water. Bella, then, she added bleach to the water and dipped a mop into the bucket. After that, she mopped up every last oh, drop off. of blood on the bucket. With all of the Gotta blood mopped the blood. up, she moved on to the next part of the cleanup process. The killer quickly ran to the shower building to clean herself up. She opened up her locker. What the hell? Oh. My she bad, removed bad. her blood splattered outfit and changed into a towel. Then she took a shower and washed the blood from her body. Damn. I'm joking. She is. Once she was clean, she returned to the locker and changed into clean Did you just shower? That's crazy, bro. Bro, she could shower faster than me. Uh, Jimmy, you for Perfectly clean. Now, nobody would suspect that she just committed murder a few minutes ago. I don't think so, bro. My, my school alpha. The killer carried the murder weapon to a drinking fountain and used water to wash the blood away. Where the hell? Oh, my bad, my bad. Why am I so blind? Ooh. Then, she picked up the clothes that she had worn during her killing spree. Oh, oh my bad. She brought the blood-stained clothing to a washing machine, tossed it inside, Hey, where's the washing machine? Oh, there, there, there. Hey, this gonna be sick. It, wiping away the last piece of evidence that connected her to the crime. Mm, this gonna be sick. Just thought of something. Instead of cleaning the evidence, she could have just dumped it into the incinerator along with the corpses. You know? <sighs> well, I guess it works either way. Damn. The killer needed to steal a key, but a witness was nearby, so she hid behind a nearby wall. Once she was hidden from view, she performed a creepy giggle. While the witness was distracted, the killer quickly grabbed the unguarded key. With the key in hand, go, go, the killer go. was able to proceed Run. to the next phase of her master Run. The killer wanted to dispose of a corpse, but witnesses were nearby, so she put on a raincoat. I bet. Put a tarp underneath the corpse of her latest victim. Hey yo. Grabbed a circular saw and chopped oh, the victim's she corpse dead. into pieces. No. She removed the raincoat, 
dumped the dismembered body parts into the incinerator, and activated it. I sorry guys, I, I just had to do something real quick, but uh... Um... How do I remove my raincoat? Oh my bad. Hey what? Oh oh. That is bloody. Uh... The polytor bags into the incinerator and activated it. Okay. Bro, chopping. Ah, oh, damn. This game is wild. That's it. Oh, and activate. My bad. My bad. My bad. How the fuck do I upgrade? Gosh. What? Yeah, so I uh, dumped. So as soon as I cut the parts, body parts, like the other ones just dropped down. Like it literally just floated through the floor. So I think I'm just give this a pass because you know, th this doesn't work. It's a bug. It's a bug. Bro. The killer made a mistake. She allowed a witness to see her while she was covered in blood. The That's crazy. The reputation was at stake. She spoke to the witness and quickly made up an excuse. I'm sorry. I got red paint. I got red paint. I got a. The There's no way. For it. Next, the killer casually socialized with the witness to maintain her act. I'm gonna give her a um, uh, positive The witness was a member of the drama club, so the killer made a positive comment about drama. I want to speak about um, uh, drama. I live for drama. Can you relate to that at all? Oh, really? I feel the same way. Oh well. Have a good day. Nice talking to you. Lila. She wrote. The killer was now on good terms with the witness. Her reputation was safe. Badass one. For now, the killer researched her victims thoroughly before killing them. She took out her smartphone, snapped a photo of her victim's face, saved it for future use. Damn, I hope she didn't see me. And hid behind a wall before her victim could take notice of her. By studying her victim's routine, she could visualize her victim's whereabouts oh, at any point in what? time. What? She could even visualize the presence of nearby objects that would be useful for committing murder. Is that an end? The killer grabbed a syringe and a tranquilizer. She hid the syringe in her clothing. She spoke to her next victim and convinced the unsuspecting girl to follow her into a secluded room. Hello, I wanna, I wanna follow me, please. Okay, lead the way. Where the hell do I go? Okay, I'll go here. Why not? Come in here. She closed the door behind her, took out the syringe, and stabbed the girl from behind. How do I? Oh my bad. Side of it. Why can't I pick up them? Pick them up. Oh. Boom. She left the area and returned after midnight to collect the body of her victim with no witnesses. That's bad. She decided to drown her next victim. First, she grabbed some rat poison. Bom. Next, she used a giggle to lure her victim away from her food. Which way is she going? Then, while her victim was distracted, she put the rat poison oh. into her meal. Hell yeah. The killer waited until the victim was no peeking for into you. a toilet, snuck up behind her, and drowned her. Hello, I'm definitely not watching you from uh, behind. I like it. Oh no. Oh no, she gonna puke. 
Oh, she gonna puke. Hey, oh, what are uh, you? I'm telling you, this game is insane. The first step was grabbing a bucket. Bucket. She filled the bucket up with water. Fill bucket. She dumped the water on the ground at her victim's feet. Then she picked up a car battery and threw it into the puddle of water. How do I drop it? I can't. Let me pick up that thing, bro. Um. Oh gosh. Damn. <laughs> oh, badass. Mother continued to take lives. She encountered different types of victims. Most da. of the victims were easy to take down, but some of them fought hey, yo. back. Some victims hey, yo. would fight tooth and nail hey, against the killer, attempting to hey, disarm yo. and apprehend her. Hey yo, what you doing? What you doing, bro? Oh no, you, you thought you, you, you thought you were slick, huh? Oh. No. She prepared what to the build fuck? a tripwire trap. She grabbed a knife. A spool of thread and masking tape. Oh my gosh. But this this is more difficult than school. The victim would die by fire. She grabbed a canister of gasoline and poured it into a bucket. Pour gasoline. Poured the gasoline into a water cooler and set up the trap. Where's the water cooler? Oh, there. Whoa, 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 whoa. She poured... But Wait, she pours until a water cooler set the trap. Huh? Oh wait, here. Oh no. After her unsuspecting victim was covered in gasoline, she used a candle to light her on fire. Oh what damn. What is this? It smells like gasoline. Die. Oh crap. She had killed with blades, Whoa. water, electricity, and even fire itself. She controlled the elements. I'm the master. I'm the master now. Today, she would eliminate her target and dispose of all evidence without being spotted even once. I don't have anything, bro. What the fuck? Hello. Wait, Yanshan, that's not right. But don't worry, what? it's okay. We'll just start over and try again. She would eliminate her target and dispose of all evidence without being spotted even once. <laughs> Today, she would eliminate her target and dispose of all evidence without being spotted even once. What do we got here? Where was the victim? Ooh, she. I mean, time. She. What can I do here? I got a mop, bleach. I got raincoat. So get her here, Kakona. Get Kakona here. Get the roll of tarp and get the circular saw. Oh shit. I can't kill her. Yeah. Gotta dismember her now.
It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Oh no. I've- oh no. I kinda fucked up. I fucked up. Did I? I fucked up. Okay. Now, now I'm gonna get the roll of tarp. And now I'm gonna place the tarp under her body. And I'm gonna get the circle so I dismember her. Oh, that's W. But how did they not hear the blood the splatter? The human flesh. I'm kidding. That's actually too far. I got it. Place that. Place. Oh, wait. We got it. Um. Now, oh crap. Oh no. She's gonna. She's gonna thingy. If I heard any of you talk about me, I will literally obliterate you. You understand me, bitch? Now, get the bucket. Fill bucket. Um, bleach. Poor bleach. Carry. Dip the mop. Now just uh, sweep, sweep, sweep. You know. Again, drop it. Um, put the clothes in here. Activate that shit. Now we activate the um, uh, incinerator. Oh, wash the circulars. Oh, my bad, my bad. I forgot. Wash weapon. That's not how I wash it. Mission accomplished. There was nothing she could not do. She had become a true master of death. For real. Hey. Do I know you? I saw you stalking an upperclassman today. I'm sorry, there must be some misunderstanding. There's no need to play dumb with me. I'm trying to help you. Want some information about the girl he was with? Dion. I'm listening. Dion. Her name is Osana Najimi. She has a crush on him. Dion. She's planning to confess to him next Friday. Underneath the cherry tree behind the school. There's a myth that if you confess your love to someone underneath that tree, the person you confess to can't refuse. Crazy. Why are you telling me this? I would be happy if something bad happened to Osana-chan. I think you might be the right person to give her what she deserves. Damn. Who are you? Have you ever heard of Info-chan? Info-chan? What the hell? An urban legend about a girl who hacks people and sells their dirty secrets to the highest bidder. That's crazy. Nah. Look, what is it? That's just the tip of the iceberg. 
I sell a lot more than just blackmail. Are you trying to tell me that you're Infojohn? Do you really expect me to believe that? I've installed an app on your phone. Take a look. Ain't no way. Hey. How did you do that? Now we're getting a virus with this one, boys. That's not something you need to be concerned with. Why? If you do a few small favors for me, I can offer a wide variety of services that should help you eliminate Osanachan. Everything you need to know is in that app. And what if I don't want anything to do with you? If you're not interested in my services, I won't take it personally. Feel free to ignore me. W. But don't ignore Osanachan. You have one week until she confesses to your precious senpai. Oh, no. Make her suffer.